What's up guys? We're here in Istanbul, Turkey and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in this beautiful city. It's really a bustling place. There's 15 million people that live here. So there's a ton of stuff to do, a ton of history. And make sure you watch till the end of the video because we're going to give you some of our top tips uh, so you can have the best trip possible because we've been scammed a few times so we don't want that to happen to you. So enjoy the video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Istanbul is located in the northwest of Turkey and is the largest city in the country. It's not the capital city of Turkey, but it's known as the country's economic, cultural, and historical center. Formerly known as Constantinople, this city goes back thousands of years. There are many historical places to visit, as well as lots of interesting art, architecture, culinary heritage, and a vibrant local atmosphere. Try to stay at least three to five days in this bustling city to be able to enjoy the many things to do. We'll now dive into our top seven. At number seven, we have the vibrant Istiklal Street. Istiklal is the busiest street in the city, comparable to Oxford Street in London or Fifth Avenue in New York City. This long stretch has a wide range of shops, cafes, restaurants, bars, movie theaters, and much more. We found ourselves shopping and eating various times here. It's the perfect place to try the local cuisine, such as kumpir, doner, or a traditional Turkish breakfast. One of my favorite foods in Turkey and you should definitely try it. It's a kumpir, it's like a baked potato basically with cheese butter and then like all kinds of toppings. It's pretty good. So one of the best things to do in Istanbul and Turkey in general is to take an authentic Turkish bath. So we're about to go into the one behind us, Aya Hamam and it was established in the 1400s and then uh, remade in the 1800s. The Turkish bath, or hammam, is an important part of Turkish culture. It's a type of steam bath and also a place of public bathing. It was used primarily within the Ottoman Empire starting in the 16th century. Its purpose is to purify your body and mind. This is achieved by first sweating and rinsing your body in a steam room for about 30 minutes, then getting a full body scrub to remove the dead skin. We weren't allowed to film the scrubbing part, but trust us, it can be rough. However, it's an essential part of the experience. The fifth best thing to do in Istanbul is to walk the Galata Bridge. The bridge spans the Golden Horn and stretches between modern Istanbul on the north and the old town of Istanbul on the south. The Golden Horn is actually an inlet of the Bosphorus River, which forms the border between the European and Asian continent. It was once an important trading post and still has a lot going on today. From the fishermen lined up on the bridge to the bustling Eminunu Square and the new mosque on the south end. Topkapi Palace is an architectural highlight in Istanbul and therefore ranks at number 4. Home to the Ottoman Sultans for nearly 400 years, this palace was the heart of the vast Ottoman Empire. The palace has hundreds of rooms decorated with beautiful tiles, gold, and other decorations. Some rooms are more like a museum where you can find artillery from the Ottoman Empire. It's easy to spend a few hours here. So here at Topkapi Palace, we just explored the whole area. 
and it's better to come later in the day because like a lot of places in Istanbul, this place is really busy, really packed, a lot of people. But if you come kind of uh, around four or five, you can enjoy for a couple hours and then catch a sunset and uh, it's really nice. The third best thing to do in Istanbul is to visit the Galata Tower. This historic tower sits high above the city and is visible from all angles. It was once used as a watchtower, but is now converted into a museum. Most people come here to enjoy the best views in Istanbul, but we also really enjoyed learning about its importance and use over time. It's possible to get an audio guide at the entrance, which we also highly recommend. The runner-up activity is to shop at the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar. Both are located in the old town of Istanbul, near the Galata Bridge. The Spice Bazaar is a giant covered market with a majority of shops selling food. You can find traditional Turkish delights and other delicacies here such as olives, figs, and pistachios. The market is also close to the Grand Bazaar, which is the true center of hustle and bustle. With over 4,000 shops, the Grand Bazaar has a little bit of everything, from ceramics to gold, leather, and Turkish carpets. Indulge yourself in the local culture, but don't forget to bargain if you want to buy something. The best thing to do in Istanbul is to visit the Hagia Sophia. Located in the heart of Sultanahmet, this is one of the most important and impressive buildings ever constructed. It was once the greatest church in Christendom, and during the Ottoman Empire was converted into a mosque. Later on, it was established as a museum, but in 2020, it reverted back to a mosque. It's now free to enter, but to fully understand the importance of this building, we encourage you to go on a free walking tour. Free walking tours run daily at 10.30 a.m. And in addition to the Hagia Sophia, the tour also passes by the Hippodrome, Blue Mosque, and Grand Bazaar. It's a great way to learn about the city and its history. Find more info about the tour in the description below. I'm an official tour guide we studied for years. We provide great service uh, for sustainable tourism. Uh, I think you enjoy on our tour as well. We expect more people to come and enjoy on our tour as well. Thank you. Since Istanbul is so large, there are many more things to do in the city that we didn't mention in this video. Some other highlights include a boat tour from the European to the Asian side, going to a rooftop bar or a restaurant to enjoy the view, strolling around the colorful Balat, visiting the Mosaic Museum or Archaeological Museum, and visiting the Basilica Cistern, which was temporarily closed at the time of this video. As mentioned at the start of the video, we promised we'd share some things that we learned so you can make the most of your trip and have a great experience. The first thing we learned is that traffic is very slow, so try to avoid taking a bus or a taxi. The best way to get around is by walking or taking the metro or tram. However, getting a transportation card can be a bit challenging as the machines often malfunction. Get help from an official transportation officer at the ticket booth to get one that suits your needs best. The second thing we learned is that you really need to watch out for scams, especially in the old town and around touristic highlights with many people around them. At first sight, the people you meet in that area might seem friendly, but they often want to get you into their shop. Show respect, but don't follow them if you're not interested in buying anything. We were pulled into a small shop ourselves in that area and had to buy pillowcases just to get out of the store after a lengthy discussion with the shop owners. Finally, Istanbul is a huge city with a large number of tourists. Keep in mind that most of the popular attractions have long waiting lines. For example, we stood in line at Topkapi Palace for 45 minutes, even though it was the end of the day. And we had the same experience at Galata Tower. So it's best to choose a few activities for the day especially if you have a limited number of days in the city. Alright guys, that's it for our video on the best things to do in Istanbul. Which activities are you most excited to do yourself? Let us know in the comments below. 
Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to our channel for more turkey videos, and download our free giveaway in the description below. Catch you on the next adventure.